The AP Chemistry exam is coming up, and if you're a teacher, you're probably counting down the weeks and days until the exam, trying to teach all that material and review the whole course before the big day in May. Hi there, my name is Jeremy Krug, and I've taught AP Chemistry for the past 24 years, and I'm about to share my secrets with you. These are the review strategies that I've used over the years to help hundreds of students pass the AP Chemistry exam. But before we start, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel where you'll find my 101 video daily playlist that covers the entire AP Chem curriculum, my quick 10-minute review videos for each unit, and lots more. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. Now, let's talk about review. My first strategy is don't wait until the last month to start reviewing. AP Chemistry is a little different than a lot of other AP courses out there. There's just so much material that by the time students get halfway through the year, they've already started forgetting things they learned earlier in the year. So review should be a continuous activity. Try to incorporate some kind of review every week. Maybe it's a question on a homework assignment, uh, a question or two on a quiz, a small part of an exam. Just make sure that students are thinking about review well before April or May. Of course, as you get closer to the AP exam sometime in March or April, you'll intensify that review and eventually spend the last few weeks before the exam in full force review every day. Now, if you're watching this video in April or even in early May, uh, it may be too late to incorporate this strategy now, but you can implement it next year. But I think you'll be able to make use of the next several strategies in this video. My second strategy is lead a content review for each unit, starting with the first unit and running all the way through to the end of the course. There's really no substitute for a good unit-by-unit -unit review. Now, don't feel like you have to reteach every single point in each unit. The goal here is to hit the high points. If you aren't sure exactly where to begin on a unit-by-unit -unit review, there are a lot of great resources out there. Don't feel like you have to reinvent the wheel here. I have a series a playlist of review videos right here on my channel where I summarize each unit in a quick 10-minute video. Each video hits just what's going to appear on the AP exam from each unit and nothing more. If you decide to lead your own content review, remember you don't need to reteach the whole unit. Choose maybe 10 key points from the whole unit and focus on those. Good students will get into their notes and take those 10 key points and run with those and get into the details as they review the rest of that unit on their own. My third strategy is give students experience with long multi-part problems that draw from a variety of units in the AP curriculum. The free response section of the exam has three long multi-part questions, which in total are worth well over a third of a student's AP score. Each of these questions has up to 10, that's right, 10 parts. And the fact is that most students simply aren't used to working through problems that long with so many little sections. So one of the best things you can do during your review sessions is to give students experience working through these long multi-part questions that draw on different units. These long free response questions are what I call rapid fire. Part A might be a gas law question, part B might be an equilibrium question, part C might be thermodynamics, and so forth. So students need practice in working problems like this. One of the best sources to find questions like these is on the College Board's website at AP Central. There's a good chance you're familiar with this website already, but if you're not, just do a Google search for AP Chemistry Past Exam Questions, and it should pop up. For the past several AP exams, the long fear responses are always questions 1, 2, and 3. Give students about 20 minutes to work through one of these. As they correct their work, they'll see, and you'll see, what topics they're remembering and which ones they need more help with. 
My fourth review strategy is give students a full-length mock exam. The full-length AP Chemistry exam is long. 60 multiple choice questions over an hour and a half, along with seven free response questions in an hour and 45 minutes. Best practice is to have students stay after school to complete this entire mock exam in one sitting. But the honest truth is that your students may not be able to do this. So the next best thing is to give students the multiple choice section as a take-home test. Let them time themselves for an hour and a half. Then the next day, they take home the free response section and work on that, timing it to an hour and 45 minutes. If that seems a little long, you can always split up the free response section into two parts. The first three questions over 60 minutes and the last four shorter questions over 45 minutes. So there are lots of ways to give a mock exam. But I think even more than giving a mock exam is having your students score the exam. After the mock exam, let students read each other's free response questions and score them using the College Board Scoring Guide. You can get creative with this. Uh, if you have enough students, you can divide them into small groups where each one is responsible for a specific question. And you can even have your top students be table heads if you want. But there's a lot of value in having students see how the AP exam is scored. Get every student's multiple choice score and, and point breakdown for each free response question and plug them into the scoring worksheet so every student has an AP score. For multiple choice, you can analyze the data and focus your in-class discussion on the most missed questions. And for free response, you can put your students in charge of review for those since uh, they scored those for you. There's huge value in not just giving a mock exam, but scoring it and using those results as a springboard for your in-class discussion in the days before the exam. My fifth review strategy is to focus on concepts, not on memorization. One mistake that a lot of new AP teachers make is having their students memorize countless equations and definitions. The fact is that the AP Chemistry exam does not reward memorization. There are a few things that students have to know and have memorized, but those are few and far between. I have a video about those, and I'll link to it in the description below. Your precious review time is much better served by focusing on the big concepts of AP Chemistry. Things like Coulomb's Law. If students understand Coulomb's Law, they'll be able to explain all kinds of things about uh, first ionization energy, predict relative melting points of ionic compounds, predict the relative strength of certain acids, predict ionic radii. Instead of memorizing an equation, make sure students know how to solve an equilibrium problem using the icebox method. This will help them not just in equilibrium problems, but in uh, acid-base chemistry with the solubility problems, and even in certain types of stoichiometry problems. Skills are rewarded much more than memorization on the AP exam. So focus on chemistry skills, things like applying concepts of gases and the gas laws, uh, drawing Lewis electron dot diagrams, knowing the types of intermolecular forces and comparing their strengths, being able to write net ionic equations, using data to write a rate law. These are skills that take students a long way on the AP exam. My sixth review strategy for AP Chemistry teachers is most effective during that last week before the exam. Hold an after-school review event. Now, all of your students might not be able to make it, but those that can will get a lot of benefit out of an AP Chemistry all-nighter. Well, not a real all-nighter, but a marathon review session from about 4 to maybe 8 or 9 in the evening can be a great motivator for your students, especially if you bring in some snacks or order in some pizza during a dinner break. Your AP Chem all-nighter can have a wide variety of review activities to keep your students interested and motivated. Have a couple of content review sessions. Uh, give some free response questions and go over them. Watch some review videos, maybe some of my uh, quick 
10-minute unit review videos, or dive deeper into a few topics that you might not have had enough time to cover very well in class. Uh, build an AP Chemistry Kahoot or quiz is, or some other game for your students with some multiple choice questions and play that together. Use those questions as part of your discussion. The options are endless, and an event like this will help your students get those important concepts in mind in those final days before the exam. And maybe, even more importantly, provide some motivation for students to, to go home and study on their own. This is a lot of information. And there's so much information in AP Chemistry to review with your students. Maybe you're wondering how you can do all of this with your students in such a short time period before the exam. You can actually incorporate a lot of these strategies with one single resource. If you head over to ultimatereviewpacket.com, you'll find the most comprehensive AP review experience out there. I've created detailed study guides for every unit aligned to the AP curriculum and linking to my free YouTube videos in case students need a refresher on a specific section. You'll find in-depth review videos that incorporate what your students need in order to score to their potential on the exam. Right now, you can sign up for a free trial to see what it's all about. You'll find exclusive tips and tricks to score as many points as possible. Things I've learned over the past 24 years teaching AP Chemistry. You'll find a full-length exam with questions and full explanations. The Ultimate Review Packet will streamline your AP review process and give your students a leg up on getting ready for the exam. It's got everything your students need to succeed. And it's just $24.99 per student for an entire year's access. And if you order the packet for your entire class, you'll get the best deal out there, which is a 40% discount, just $14.99 per student. So I hope you've learned some practical strategies to help your students. And if you have other review strategies, I'd love to hear about them in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching. And I wish you and all your students the best on this year's AP Chemistry exam.